Hello everyone, today I want to show you the Versace. This is the model number 3218 in color 5122, which is the platinum and black. Well, black with platinum in the 53 eye size. By the way, this is freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any frame from me and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. I am the hardest working optician in the optical industry. My name is Seymour Better, but call me Mo. Mo Better because I may be seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and show everyone else how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses when I show you Aaron's. Now, Aaron lives in New London, Ohio. This is the second frame he has gotten for me. He got a pair of Kazals. I forget the model number. They are the most expensive Kazal legends you can get. He got a pair with the Transitions Extra Active lenses with the red flash mirror and he liked them so much he's got to get a pair of Versace's. And of course this is the cleaning cloth that comes with the Versace case. Comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. This Versace and all Versace's are made in Italy. And again this is model number 3218 color 5122 and the 53 eye size 17 bridge 140 temple length now this is matte black with the platinum temples they call this sand for some reason i don't know maybe sand blasted plastic there is a gold gb1 that is a shiny black with the gold temples now this has the greco pattern engraved into both sides of the temples and it has the small medusa on each temple which medusa dap medusa <laughs> and of course it comes with the little card of authenticity your international warranty and all the accoutrements even though that's a french word and this is from italy but you get the point so let me go ahead and begin i'm going to program the shape into the computer and you're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging including the demo lenses that say versace Put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Program the shape into the computer so that years from now, should you ever need new lenses, I can pull this up from my database in the cloud. How do you like my little $4,000 computer? The I had a um, memory collapse. See, I even had it just that. What is it, the hard drive failure? And I lost some shape, so I paid $4,000 to have a cloud-based backup, which backs up every night. And he is Secret Agent 3532, so years from now, should you ever need new lenses, I can mail them right to your home, and you'll be able to pop them in. So I'm going to hit the start button, the little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame, before doing the same thing on the left side, here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear, single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings and flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now, I do not accept any vision insurance plans, but I can provide to you upon request an itemized receipt that you can file with your insurance company for your out-of-network reimbursement, which they will send to your house in the form of a check. You just take a picture of it, deposit it right into your bank account. I also take, my website takes every form of credit card, but it now takes HSA, Health Savings Account Flex Dollars, as well as Google Pay and Apple Pay, making it easier than ever to purchase from my website. So that is the shape I'll be cutting. I'm going to move on to the next screen. I need to enter the pupillary distance of 63 divided by 2 is 6. No, 12. Wait, 42. 31.5. The computer starts at 32.5. So I'm going to tap the minus button a couple times till we get to 31.5. I want to raise the optical center up 2.5 millimeters to 22. We're going to go 2 above the center and cut it at 22 millimeters high. Now, Let's get his lenses prepped. His right eye reads minus 50, minus 50 at 10. Minus 50, minus 50 at 10. I'm going to take the lens out of the protective packet. Let's make sure everything's on zero. Zero. Put the axis wheel on 10. And now I can go ahead and put the power drum on minus 50. Put the lens in, rotate it until the spherical component comes into view first. 
Why am I? Oh, I got a 50-50 chance of getting the top of the lens. In the last few videos, I have not been able to do it. So, let's get everything centered. Check the astigmatism correction, and I'll explain what that means later. But I have, I have a simple test for you now to find out whether you're going to ever need glasses in your lifetime. Are you sleepy right when you wake up? Are you hungry right before you eat? Is it dark when you close your eyes? If the answer to any of those is yes, you're going to need glasses at some point in your life. I'm not a doctor, but I did, uh, I did mug one on TV once. <laughs> I stole his car. And all right, I'm putting a right on here for an R on there for right. And I always like to highlight the package. This is the right single vision lens. It is Zeiss's Photofusion Extra Gray Lenses and Polycarbonate. It is the DuraVision Mirror Flash Ruby. And let's highlight his prescription for the right lens. Everything you're getting, the color of the mirror, the prescription. And I don't know why I always write it in red versus the black pen. Oh, I guess I don't need to because it has the Aura already on there. Let's do the same thing for the Ella. <laughs> it's actually just a minus 50 sphere. So I take the lens out of the packet. Power drum is still on minus 50. What's the chance I'm going to get the top half? Tag Nava. Okay, I can just keep turning this one. If this were polarized, I'd have more issues, but it ain't. So, and really, I only need one dot on this one since there's no astigmatism correction. This is the left lens. Let me highlight this. Left lens, Photofusion Polycarbonate Extra Grade DuraVision Mirror Flash Ruby with your prescription. If you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> you knew that joke was coming. I'm getting predictable. You didn't see that coming. Okay, so where am I at? This is a block. Monty Python fans? Well, no, these is coconuts. What is the unladen weight of a, of a swallow? African or European? I don't know. Whoa! Okay, so... <laughs> Alright, where's my Holy Grail fans at? Alright, so I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. I need to put this on there. I'm in a silly mood tonight. How silly am I? <laughs> Nina, I'm David... Oh, I forgot the skip from Saturday Night Live. David, 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 any questions? <laughs> All right, so let me just keep going. So he paid $25 for this video. This is priceless. This is good comedy. Hello, is this on? Hello, is this on? Feel free to laugh at any of these jokes. All right, so the reason why I put those dots on the lens is because I'm a professional. I'm paid to do it. No, it's because to make sure that it's oriented and they're just right. Let me get that. This is the platform the lens sits on. And one of these arms was in the way, so that's why I was rotating it so I could see the orange crosshairs. The blue cross is the geometric center of the frame. His eye is just above that in inset. So I'm going to get these laid out correctly. And I want to make sure the lens is large enough to fit. Hit that button, the block comes down places, the arm comes down places the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing for the lens that ain't right, which I can identify with since I ain't right neither. Get everything laid out, just the black dot. Let me center this so that's even better. Where's, all right, hang on, I better just go back to this. All right, there we go. That's gonna fit, that's gonna fit. I'm just gonna see something here. So that's what I get for not putting three dots on there. Yeah, that'll work, that'll work. Hit the, actually same pupillary distance, same optical center height. Same button to press, same arm comes down, places a different block onto the lens. So this is the blocker, the tracer. This, drum roll please, is the edger. This is what costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your hovercraft, and then you can cut your own lenses while you're hovering around. And you will need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. The actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material. This wheel in the center is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to wake up the computer. Job ID number 3532. 
These are polycarbonate lenses. They were plastic. Hi, oops. Plastic high index plastic or Trivex. I would select that, but it's not. We're going to stick with polycarbonate. That's my lens material of choice. Uh, I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens. I'm going to place the magnet into the chuck, or as you know, I call this the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Hit the green start button and the clean door. Secret Agent 2840 can't say nothing now. The clean door closes and is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame on the first go around. Second go around, it's measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will have none with your prescription in this frame. But I do cut very strong lenses all day long for Quanto, for Gratis. And that it does become a little bit more important with the higher powered lenses. Now the light you see flickering in the back is water. That's there to catch the optical sawdust. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, like my humor. Meaning that no water sprays onto my humor while it is cutting. <laughs> Unlike plastic high index, plastic and Trivex that have water spraying on the lens continuously while they're cutting. Now water will spray onto these lenses, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris you see beginning to form. As I mentioned, his lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. <laughs> what does that even signify, really? It has 100% UVA, UVB protection built into the lens. In fact, the nice thing about the Photofusion Extra Gray, it has 50 to 70 percent blue light protection already built in. You hear about that emitted from today's electronic devices such as cell phones, tablets, computer screens, etch-a-sketches, and the sun. Okay, one of those is not true. <laughs> but uh, it also has, so he's got the red flash mirror on the front. Zeiss lenses come with the premium DuraVision Sun back surface anti-glare built in to the flash mirror. That coating alone costs $69. You get it for free when you pay $69 for the flash mirror. That doesn't seem right, does it? Just like me, it doesn't seem right. All right, so water sprayed on the lens, it tells me it's in the last 20 seconds. Now the purpose of the anti-glare is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead, fluorescent lights, and such. The second feature of a lens without a mirror is that it reduces reflections. You can still see somewhat of the mirror finish inside, even though it looks like a, a red anti-glare coating on steroids. But the machine that applies this costs well over a million dollars. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize all the different coatings onto the lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. If you notice, I opened that door with my mind while I was talking. Impressive, huh? I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I just have to stare at it for a couple hours to get it to melt. Hello, is this on? Feel free to laugh at any of these jokes. And yes, I'm using the word joke um, in, uh, in probably the wrong, um, <laughs> the wrong, the wrong, uh, it's not jurisdiction, the wrong anticipation. No, what, what word ending in Asian am I thinking of? The wrong, in the wrong tense. It's not a joke. All right, so. I, uh, I lived outdoors when I was camping. It was intense. <laughs> hey, if the clown gets to laugh at work, it's a good day at work. All right, so we're going to tuck the lens in in the outside corner. Push down the nose. Oh, I don't think it's going to go in. I don't think it's going to go in. I'm going to take it down. Let's go down two tenths of a millimeter until it fits. Hit the retouch button. Now the old carpenter saying, you can always cut more off of a board, you can never add it back on, so I start a little bit large and work my way down, which is what I'm doing with my waistline now. Hey, you know what I'm going to do? Okay, so when, that's why I have these here, this is my Christian eyewear collection, when 
Aaron sent me his selfie wearing the Kazals. He had a really nice cross on in black and red. He had a black leather coat, but he had a black and red cross, crucifix, hanging around his neck. Now, you guys have seen these. The black, the tortoise, and the purple with the gold or the silver crosses. I just got in this beautiful dogwood color. Again, with gold crosses or silver crosses, but the gold crosses come with a gold mirrored lens. The silver crosses come with a silver mirror. And, Aaron, I'm pointing this out to you. I'm going to come out with a line of sunglasses that don't have the clip attached. And I'm thinking about doing a black and red frame, possibly just the front black with red temples or like this Ray-Ban is blue and orange. I may have the outside of the frame all black with the inside all red and it'll have a red cross on the outside of each temple. Just throwing that out there and I'm still not sure. I'm gonna, they're all going to come with a mirrored lens. I'm just not sure what color mirror to put on the outside of that. Maybe a red mirror if you guys like that. Just tossing that idea out there for all the black and red fans. Um, where's my uh, Chicago Bulls fans at? So, I'm going to dry this off. Let's see if it fits this time. If not, I'm going to get a hammer and make this lens fit in there. Alright, so I'm going to tuck it in the outside corners. Press down. Now it snaps in there easily. Let me write down that I took this down two tenths of a millimeter. So in the future, should you ever need new lenses, Look, I got a stain on the counter. Not no more. And looky what I done done. I cleaned it up. Flip that over to L. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or today I'm calling it the Aaron. Or the A.A. Ron. For those of you who've watched too much Key and Peel. Is that, yeah, Peel and Key? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows what I'm saying anymore? All right, so let me just hit the green button, let the machine do all the work, and I'm going to shut up. Yeah, fat chance of that. All right, so the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced again by the two white styluses, making sure the lens is large enough to fit into the left side of the frame. Ding! You may turn the page. And again, measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which, a hey, hey, Ron, you got none. You got no edge thickness there. You just got that beautiful Greco pattern on the temple and that Versace Medusa. Pull the sticker away, use my hand-approved drying method, add that to my sticker collection, come down here to the lensometer. I do not even have to turn the axis wheel, it is still on 10, putting it in over that black dot. Look at that, Kazal 664. Who wants one of those to go with their Versaces? Read the power and I am getting minus 50. Minus 50, exactly halfway between 0 and 1. That's where you're going to find 0.5. Because the unit of measurement in the optical world is called a diopter, spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R. It starts at 0 and goes up in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, and 1. So he's on the second rung of a ladder. Aaron is nearsighted. With his glasses off, he can see up close great. But as things get farther away, they get blurrier. So that's why there's a minus sign. His lens is minify. The opposite of magnify is lenses minify. And believe it or not, minify is not a word. You will not find it in the dictionary. So don't go look it up. And is everyone going to do exactly what I don't tell them to do? Now, he has the same amount, two additional steps of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike with the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine two knob. He has one curve on his eye this way, half a diopter. He has a second curve that's even steeper, another half a diopter. And we, it's how you turn those two meridians to make everything nice and crisp. Again, uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike, or P and F. So I'm going to check the second curve on his eye. And he's at minus one, exactly halfway between zero and two, or three-fifths of the way from plus one to minus, well, I don't know. I'm bad at math. I'm bad at four things. Names, faces, and numbers. So, now, these first two numbers are real values to be... That was funny, by the way. Again, hello, is this on? Feel free to laugh at that last thing. I'm bad at four things. Okay, so, <laughs> the first two numbers are real values that you could be concerned with. It could be anywhere 
but this last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180. This is just a fine-tuned knob. A straight line is 0 to 90 to 180, so we're going to turn that fine-tuned knob to 10. Now his left eye, he only needs two steps of far-sided correction and no astigmatism correction. Open the door. I'm trying to give Aaron his money worth. Plus, I just had a very stressful day. I don't want to go into it, but it's just, how stressful was it? Well, you're actually on the wrong coast for that. <laughs> All right, so, it's the end of a day. I can wind down. I did what I had to do, which I don't like to do. I don't like doing nothing, to tell you the truth. I am the hardest working optician in the optical industry. I know I get flack for saying that, at least from Secret Agent 24. But what people don't understand is I am a couch potato. I work 12 to 15 hours a day so that one day I can go back to being a couch potato. If, uh, if my plans take off, more and more of these frames and more colors catch on, I'll be, I'll be famous in my car. <laughs> Not much outside of my car, but I'll be the most hardest working and most famous optician as long as I'm driving my one-seater car. So I have the left side I am closest to me tucked in, push down with my thumbs and the nose, it snaps right in. Let's go ahead and take the block off, pull the sticker away, add to my sticker collection down, down there, down yonder. Oh, I, I can't put that away yet. Let's read the power of the left lens. And we get in minus 50. The reason why we had one before minus one is you add the two like signs together, minus 50, and you add another minus 50 to that. Come on, who, where's my calculus fans at? What do you get? Minus one. This one's minus 50. Is anyone even paying attention anymore? Okay, so, pupillary distance of 63. I'm, I'm barely paying attention, to be honest with you. Uh, optical center height of 22. I'm going to turn the card around. Play, you like the new colors of my card? The printer's messed up. I ran out of my beige one. We have to use goldenrod, they told me it was. Turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb, and we're getting 63 millimeters for the optical center. Now, that was the horizontal measurement. Let me measure the vertical. We're getting 22 millimeters to the middle of the frame, not the bottom of the lens, but halfway into the plastic, because remember, the lens goes halfway into the plastic. 22 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. So this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that there is free shipping anywhere in the U.S., and New London, Ohio is in the U.S. But when you get these in the mail, Aaron, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. And that's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them down and press down on the counter, and there is no wobble. When I say wobble... When I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Again, for those keeping score at home, I'm wearing the Christian eyewear designed in the USA by me. Again, this is the Philippians 4.13, which is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And they come with a polarized clip-on. Oh, but what I was going to say was when I press mine down and press down on the counter, they wobble on me, but they... Uh, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. All right, let me put mine back on. I'm ordering me some lenses. I'm going to do the Transitions Vantage for the, for the brown lens because it has enough black in the frame, the black and brown, and I want to try the Transitions Vantage that will turn polarized gray. That's the only color we can get right now is polarized gray. But let me flip this over, press down. Hopefully in the future we'll get some. And I wish we could do the flash mirrors on there. That would be so awesome I'd be doing that. Press down, there is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly. And they do. The neither temple is askew. Check the tension on each hinge. That is the same. Now this is what your lenses look like clear. By the way, I send out a selfie request in every package. Aaron has sent me that, but I love two. One with you indoors wearing these. And one with you outdoors where you can see the, the red that I'm just about to show you. Also send out cleaning instructions not only on your frame and lenses, but for the 
cleaning cloth and for your Versace case the Versace cloth your Zeiss cleaning cloth all three of those so it will last you for years as well by the way Aaron just got a new job he went to uh, bartending school he's gonna be the life of the party he I'm learning how to make uh, some mint chocolate cocktails I actually uh, made a lemon drop this weekend it was good yay and they celebrated um, but He's going to be the life of the party, knowing how to make every drink possible going forward. I'd love to have some of those skills because I tried to make a, a mint chocolate cocktail and it was terrible. Terrible! So I had to make another one and it was a little better. Then I made a third one. Not bad. And then the fourth one, you know what? I think I'm starting to get the hang of The fourth one tasted okay. At least I think. I don't remember much of that night, but I think I like the fourth one. So anyway, this is what they look like clear. I'm going to go ahead and activate them meaning I'm going to expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for the lenses to darken, a little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15. Now, this is important. Everyone pay attention. All photochromic lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks or exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays, Thank you for whoever just made that purchase from my website. But uh, your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that prevent your dashboard from cracking from sitting in the sun. And that's why transitions and photo fusion lenses don't turn dark in a car. Now these extra gray lenses will get 30 to 50% dark behind the windshield. They're also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. Now you see the red flash mirror. When Aaron looks out, he's going to see the dark gray. When people look at him, they're going to see that ruby red mirror. As I was saying, they will get darker when it's 85 and below. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. Now imagine this frame, black frame with red on the inside or red temples with that red flash mirror. How cool is that going to look? But, I'm going to set that down. But as I keep talking, these will get lighter and lighter. Now, again, you can get this option with the silver, gold, green, or blue, or this red. Now, this frame, the Versace, 3218. Again, this is color 5122, which is the matte black with the platinum temples. You can get it in GB1, which is the shiny black and the gold. It used to come in two sizes. It only comes in the 53 now for $250 complete with one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. The upgrade to the Zeiss Photo Fusion Extra Gray is $129. The red flash mirror is $69. Again, that comes with, if you can see that greenish purple hue of the DuraVision Sun, back surface anti-glare coating. I need to clean these lenses a little better. But, uh, and it comes to $448 tax-free before the $25 priceless amount that he paid for this video. The reason why I point out tax-free now is that uh, a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax. Not me! I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device and so I don't have to charge tax on on any medical devices such as eyeglasses. So I also do free shipping anywhere in the US but Aaron thank you so much for your repeat business. By the way, if you guys haven't done it already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you can get notified every time there's a new frame and lens combination as they become available. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses, on Twitter as Free RX Lenses. If you have any questions, go to the Contact Me page of the website. While you're on the website, scroll to the bottom of the page. You'll see where you can sign up for our email list. Soon, in the coming days, weeks, months, years, millennials, millenniums, millennium num num nums, I will have special promotions on frames and lenses once I can figure out how to do that. But sign up for the email list once there's enough people. I will send out an email blast on any promotions that I'm having. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. And as I keep talking, which I'm barely good at, and I'm bad at five things. Names, numbers, faces, talking. But yeah, as I keep talking, you'll see them getting lighter and lighter. But Aaron, thank you so much for your repeat business. Less than a year ago, he got, uh, oh, 
is that the Kazal 9058. It's an $1,100 Kazal frame with gold on it. He got that, and now he's going to follow up with the black and platinum Versace 3218 with his Zeiss Photofusion extra gray lenses with the red flash mirrors and the Duravision Sun back surface anti-glare coating. So thank you for watching. And now, hopefully, everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.